this for a while. And while I do like the room that my bedroom is in, I don't love it. So I think I'm gonna move my bedroom into what's technically the sunroom in my apartment. It's currently being used as an office, or at least my roommate who's in Mexico City for four months, he was using it as an office. And now he's not here, and now I'm gonna make the office my bedroom. This is what the office slash sunroom looks like currently. And this is what my bedroom looks like currently. The one nice thing about this room is that there's a closet and there's no closet in the sunroom, but I think I'll just keep my clothes in the closet in this room and that'll just be fine. I gotta move all my books. to moving is my bed. It's really easy to take apart, but it's hard to put together as just one person, but I think this is good. This is teaching me to be really independent. I built this bed myself twice. I've taken it apart twice. Once. Oh my God. I've taken it apart once and it wasn't that bad. I don't know, I can do it. Just all the pieces are heavy and I'm already sweaty but I'm just gonna do it. way longer than I was expecting for some reason. I think maybe I just have like a weird perception of time, but like, I think that took like four hours. I thought it would take like an hour, but now I'm kind of pooped. I'm a little tired. I have to go and pick up some packages in a little bit. So I'm gonna do that, but for now, I'm just gonna be reading in my bed. I didn't finish Rouge the other night like I thought I would. I actually haven't had that much time to read lately but I'm almost done. Hopefully tonight I'll finish it. And then probably eat something. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of, that's my whole plan for the evening. Pick up packages, read my book, maybe take a bath. Yeah. go and get my packages. I'll just show you what I'm wearing. I have on my hoodie from Colorful Standard, then this thrifted quilted jacket, my Levi's, my Mista square toed boots, and then my Oland bag. Okay, let's go on a little walk.
guys the next day or the next morning i just did my makeup and i'm gonna show you all the packages like all the stuff that was in the packages that i got last night because i was trying to open them but it was so dark and the light was just so bad that there was kind of no point in me trying everything on for you because you just wouldn't be able to see but i'm gonna try all that stuff on and show you and then i have to go and pick up another package from fedex so i'm gonna take the bus there and then I just have lots of cleaning to do. I need to do laundry. And then I should really check and see if I have any schoolwork that I need to do. I've been kind of neglecting my schoolwork a little bit. I just like, I don't know. I really haven't been in the mood to keep up with it, but it also, like my classes aren't really that demanding this semester. And so I just feel like I kind of keep forgetting that I'm even in school, but that's kind of what today is gonna be. I'll like maybe make soup or something. Yeah, that's kind of what this day is. Okay, so in the package from Aritzia, I got this top. It's like a waffle shirt. And online, I didn't realize that it was like as big and thick as it is, which I'm actually really happy about. Like it almost feels like a cross between just like a regular long sleeve shirt and like a crew neck. So I think it'll be really, really good for winter. But now I'm also thinking that I might need something a little bit thinner, like the same thing, like a waffle white long sleeve, but just like thinner and not quite as big, but I'm happy I got this, I really like it. I feel like this isn't something I would normally buy, but I really like it. Like the quality is actually so good and it's just like super oversized. This is a size small, but just like has a naturally very oversized kind of fit and like the sleeves are the perfect length. They're just like a little bit long. Okay, this TNA long sleeve. I saw this online and I just thought it was very me. I actually saw it in, there was like that Emma Chamberlain like fall edit that she did where she like picked a bunch of stuff from Maritzia and like curated a little lookbook. And this was one of the pieces that was in it. And I feel like I don't necessarily like look to Emma Chamberlain for like style inspo, but this one I'm, I'm very into. It just feels very me. I got this in a medium and it's like very stretchy and it is pretty tight. So I'm really glad I got it in a medium rather than a small, which is what I would typically get. Okay, this vest. I think it'll be so good for when I work like once a week at my restaurant job because the uniform, there isn't really a uniform, but we just have to dress like a little bit formal. So I think this will be really good for that. And it feels very high quality. Like there's this little buckle in the back and it's metal and I don't know yeah it just feels really good I like that this is kind of boxy but it's cropped it's kind of like the perfect length okay and then this last thing from Aritzia is this skirt and I was kind of shocked that Aritzia carries this but I'm like really excited about it, it yeah I'll just show you okay it's this knee length plaid skirt I just love the length and I feel like with a big sweater, it's so good. Okay, this next thing is from Salter House and I've been wanting it for so long. It's just like a white nightgown, but it's really, really cute. Okay, this nightgown is 100% cotton. It's very sheer. So I don't know if you can see everything under this, but I just feel like with like big sweaters and I would even wear this with jeans. I feel like my vision for this outfit is not working and I kind of look like a cult member. I think I need to put a sweater on top of this. Okay, I think this is better. I just put on the thrifted sweater that I got last week. I have on the long dress, but then my jeans, my Mista boots, this cotton tote. Uh, I used the amber fragrance oil and then I'm just wearing the jewelry that I always wear. And now I'm gonna go and get a coffee, maybe a little snack, and then I have to go run some errands.
This vlog is very all over the place. Joni, your tail, come on. I don't really know where I finished off filming, but it's Thursday and I went and bought some short ribs and now I'm gonna make ragu. So if you don't like me or you're a vegan, I'm sorry. You might not wanna watch this, but I too was a vegan once in 2015 when Freely the Banana Girl was wreaking havoc and convincing teenage girls that they were absolute monsters for eating meat. Um, I get it, I usually don't buy meat and I'm very afraid of cooking it, but I just wanted some ragu. So that's what this is gonna be. Yep. Oh, I also finished Rouge by Mona Watt last night and it's such a slow burn. I was kind of not expecting that. I did enjoy it. I do feel like Maybe it could have been like a hundred pages shorter. And like typically that's not a complaint that I have. Like I do enjoy a longer book, but yeah, I don't know. It kind of dragged, like I really liked the ambiance that she creates and like the culty skincare, like all of that I was really into, but it kind of, it dragged a little bit. It kind of dragged. And then the ending, I love an open-ended ending but it was almost too happy for me like I wanted it to be a little more sinister but that's just me I don't know overall I, I would recommend it I'd say I'd give it like a three out of five yeah oh yeah I got new glasses they're from clearly optical I just bought them online and put my prescription in and now I have glasses again and I can see The ragu is in the oven and it'll be ready in like four hours so until then i'm just gonna be reading my book i love this book so much it is so gross it's like it's about these two girls i think they're like 13. i'm actually not sure how old they are anyway maybe they're like 12. uh their best friends are obsessed with each other and they're just like disgusting little freaks and oh, it just like, reminds me so much of being a little tween girl. And it, they're just like running around, wreaking havoc. 
oh, it's it's perfect. I don't know. Any book just like about being an adolescent girl or being a teen girl is just right up my alley. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for my ragu to cook. I'm gonna drink my glass of wine. And yeah, in like four hours, I'll eat dinner. Hi, it's Monday. I have a midterm tonight at 6, 6.30, at 6.30. And Joni is being a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna just get out of the house and go to a coffee shop to study. And that's what today's gonna be. And then I'll obviously go to school and do my midterm.